Mike Jason back on ABAC Update. We wind up today's show with one of the most popular programs at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College. In fact, as far as single majors, there's not a bigger program than the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. Troy Spicer is our guest. He's dean of the School of Nursing and Health Sciences here at ABAC, and business is good for the nursing industry. Absolutely. It's a great time to be a nurse. Uh, nurses are fully employed. Uh, we're graduating folks and placing them in, in highly rewarding, productive jobs, uh, fresh out of graduations, and they're making really good salaries. How about the nursing program at ABAC? I know eventually, and they pass their boards and that sort of thing, they'll be an RN, a registered nurse. Go through the process with me. Applying to the nursing program, getting into the program, how long does it take? The website has all the information they would need uh, to know. It's uh, The main thing is apply to ABAC and you get an academic advisor and that person will help walk you through the process. And the process includes getting some core courses out of the way, which include two anatomy and physiologies, some of the basic courses you need to get into the nursing program. You get accepted into the nursing program and then the, the regular generic basic track takes four semesters to complete okay. and our bridge program which is highly popular with uh, respiratory therapists, uh, licensed practical nurses and paramedics, it takes three semesters. Okay, so they've already had some classes, some skills that they've already done, so they can make it in a shorter period of time. Absolutely. We give them sort of credit for uh, the things they learned in, yep. their, in their other programs. Okay, what is there a waiting list now to get into the nursing program at ABAC? Right now, we have enough faculty that we are accepting all qualified candidates, so that's good news for people who that would like to get That is great news. So a lot of people out there are saying, oh man, so, it'll take forever to get in. Not the case now if they're no. qualified. If you're qualified, meet the qualifications, uh, everyone's getting into the nursing program at this point. We got a brand new year staring us right in the face. The fall semester starts on August 13th. What's going to be new and exciting for the School of Nursing and Health Sciences as we begin the 2014-2015 academic year? Well, obviously, we're going to uh, keep up with the, the quality of the program and, and educate uh, highly qualified nursing students. But we are also trying to integrate some community activities, too. Like, for example, on campus, we're going to have a big body image uh, initiative with films and guest speakers and that sort of thing uh, that's going to involve the entire campus okay. uh, as far as body image and, and uh, bulimia and anorexia and those things. So that ought to be exciting. Well, that's part of the part of your responsibility to bring topics of that nature to the public. And I know you're doing the thing about the, the guys walking around the circle in high heels for a reason. Exactly. The uh, uh, Roos Cottage uh, always every year has a fundraiser where the leading men in the community uh, put on high heel shoes and they call it Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. And it's it's a it's a, a fun way to bring attention to the to the very serious topic of domestic violence. And so so this year, the nursing students were on board with this. Our president of our, our local uh, nursing organization, student organization, is taking the lead on this, uh, Dean Devlin. And he's going to organize the men in the community to participate. And this event is going to happen in the circle out in front oh, of campus. It's a great place to have it. And of course, uh, last year they involved in a lot of different things. They went over to Plains last year, saw the former first lady, Rosalind Carter. We did. It was a very exciting trip over there to listen to her in a very intimate atmosphere, talk about her initiatives with mental health care, and it's always a blast to, to, to hear her. I've actually heard the president speak, and now I've heard the first lady, and I'd almost rather hear her speak than hear the president. It's incredible to, to oh, hear her story. Both are incredible people living right here in South Georgia over in Plains. Of course, a, a big event always happens around homecoming. That's the Run for the Nurses, and uh, Becky Arnold does a great job of coordinating, heading up that event, but that, that raises some great money for, well, I guess, scholarships and stuff. It does. We give, this past year, we raised enough money that we now have enough money to give uh, four scholarships a year. And nice. uh, so we're expecting that to be, uh, uh, you know, well attended. And and we're actually, this next year, one of the changes is it's going to occur during a homecoming. We're going to bring the event to the front of campus and bring that whole energy uh, up to the front 
front of campus. We're going to have a DJ and and uh, it's going to be a like very fun. festive atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. it always attracts a lot of attention. Homecoming, that's homecoming 2015. Of course, we'll be getting you all the dates and times and places for that sort of thing. But the run for a nurse for the nurses is a big part of that homecoming celebration. Uh, it's, Somebody wants to, out there in high school, they're watching this program, and maybe they want a second career. You have a lot of second career people. They tried something, now they're in their 30s, 35, 40, 45, 50, whatever. They want to come back and try nursing. You see a lot of that. Why is that? I, I don't know. Uh, nursing is a very appealing um career choice for someone who basically likes people and likes the notion of taking care of folks, who likes the kind of work environment where no day is routine. This right. is not a desk job, sit down and shuffle papers or do figures Every all day. Every day is different. Every day is different. And that appeals to, to non-traditional students, that's for sure. And they also see the kind of uh, economic security it can bring to their families as well. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, job to have, a good secure job to have. And as far as the traditional students, we really like seeing the traditional students come in. Our typical class is, is uh, I'd say, the half traditionally aged students right. and half of uh, uh, non-traditional students. The traditional age students, of course, referring to those just out of high school and coming in and pursuing a career in nursing. Non-traditional would be those who've been out of high school four or five years or beyond. They're coming back. Do you find that those students are perhaps even more focused than your high school recent high school graduates? I don't know. I have to brag on the high school students as well. Okay. We, we get some really sharp uh, students. Sure. But I think that the... The interaction between the traditional students and the non-traditional students is really good because the non-traditional students do bring a level of seriousness and, and um, um, just that, that sort of mindset of, of uh, focusing on their goal yeah. that it's good for the non-traditional or the traditional students to see. It's, it's nice. a great blend, I can tell you that, and also have some fantastic facilities over in that area. The 50th anniversary of the nursing program, I'm looking at my notes here, the 50th anniversary of the nursing program at ABAC is coming up. 50 years of nursing at ABAC, and I know you're acquainted with that history because your mom was here. She was. She graduated in the 70s. I graduated in the 80s. She went as a non-traditional student. I went as a traditional student. Uh, the, the, you know, we're, we're planning right now uh, a series of activities over the next year and a half and folks need to stay tuned and um, and see what's going on. Uh, the run for the nurses obviously will be one of them but I'm mostly interested right now actually on the faculty we have faculty who graduated from ABAC in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. Wow! And so what we need now is we need people from the community that can help me identify uh, someone or a group of people who graduated in the 60s and we want like this multi-generation yeah. you know, event by the decades. So yes. we're interested in getting a hold of folks and, and hearing their stories. And a lot of great stories, 50 years of nursing at ABAC. We've had a great show today. Thanks to Troy Spicer for being with us. He's the Dean of the School of Nursing and Health Sciences. Thanks to Cindy Barber for putting our entire show together today and every single week. We'll do it again next week. Remember, fall semester begins August 13th. For Cindy Barber, for Troy Spicer, for Dr. Bobby Robinson, Dr. Darby Sewell, I'm Mike Chasen saying make every day an ABAC day.